Hello, this is Michael Trayvon's RV Center. Here to congratulate you on your Flagstaff High Wall 29SC pop-up travel trailer. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A few things to take into consideration when you're parking. On your campsite, there's plenty of room for your awning. On your off-campsite, you have a little slide that comes out. I also want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be both at the front of the unit on your driver's side of your tow vehicle power and water connections so park accordingly so you can utilize facilities at the campsite once you arrive and unhook your hitch first thing you're going to do is level your unit now you've got a big long flat top you can just throw a level right up on top of that come up front here and use your power tongue jack got a night docking light should you arrive at night simply raise or lower the unit until you're level now should you lose power under this rubber stopper right here you got this little hand crank that will get down in there hook on and get this up and down without power so speaking of power check the battery post every now and then make sure nothing's wiggling loose going down the road once we got our unit level next thing we're going to do is stabilize it all four corners of the unit, you've got these scissor stabilizing jacks, three quarter inch hand crank, you can use a drill gun or an impact driver. Um, this is kind of a low, low unit, so I recommend just using the hand crank. Because now remember, what we're going to do is put down some stabilizing jack pads. They're going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and hot blacktop in the summer. Pick a four pack up of those from our store, put them down underneath these, and run these down just until they're taut. Once it feels like it's gonna start lifting the unit, you have some resistance on your hand crank, stop. Remember, our unit's already level. All we're trying to do at this point is stabilize it. That's unit level and stable. Let's hook up your power and water. City water connection is where we're gonna hook our water up at. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protect the lines in the unit. I always use this when putting water into the unit because you don't know what the water pressure is at different sites. Uh, hook that up, but do not hook your water up yet. We're going to come over here. Take off our door. This will literally lift right up off here to our hot water heater. And make sure our drain plug's back in. Throw a little plumber's tape around that. Get it in there nice and snug. Once that's in there tight, we know that we're all set to turn on our water, but we're going to wait until we open up our unit because we want to make sure our faucet is set in a safe position. All right, you got your power hooked up, or your water hooked up. Let's hook up your power. Power is on a 30 amp cord. The way these go in now is they go in at, say, 11 o'clock, turn it to noon, and then put it on your washer. Now, at the end of that 30 amp service, should you need to plug into a 110, you can hook up a 30 to 15 amp reducer power and water hooked up before we open the unit let me walk you around the rest of the outside to show you a few things again our hot water heater our power also at this point we're gonna pull the plug out for our air conditioning unit but get that on there get that in there nice and snug pull this out so that when we lift the unit that cord will go right along the side uh, you do have a hot and cold shower out here as well. Our city water connection. Our low point drain for when we leave the campsite. This is a flue for your furnace. A couple things on that. Once uh, steer clear of it when you're running, it gets pretty hot. And two, make sure it's never blocked. In your uh, side slide, you do have storage. But underneath here will be your fresh water drain. By the tires here right there you have a galley tank drain this is storage for your uh, sewer hose and there is our sewage line got a spare tire cover it's the back of our fridge access more storage here Here's where we'll put our fresh water in. Say we're going to go camping and we're not going to use city water, we're going to go dry camping. Well, in that case, we'll come over here and fill up our fresh water tank. Uh, 
I recommend doing this with our top open as well so that you can monitor your freshwater tank from inside. There's two ways to tell when it's full. One is the overflow valve right here, or two on the inside where you check the levels of your black and gray tanks, there's also a freshwater button. Once it's full, remove your hose, put that cap back on, and then when you want to utilize that water, you'll turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump when hooked up to city water, that's already pressurized. You do have a table and a griddle indoors that will set up out here. Here's your quick connect LP for that. A couple outdoor speakers, antenna, more storage. That about covers everything from the outside. Um, I'll go show you up top. You do have Wi-Fi Ranger. I'll send you a separate video on how to use that. Your AC unit and a skylight. All right, let's go ahead and open up the unit. First thing we gotta do is go through and open up. I already started on these ones. All four of these, get them unsnapped. Are you stable, level and stable? And we're gonna come right here to our power. All right, we're just gonna push up here. That just goes up, we're gonna be watching that red cable right there. It starts to get tight, slow down a little bit. We're gonna run that until it is Piano string ready. All right, now before we open up anything else, we're gonna open up the sidewall. Lift up, turn, that's gonna unlock that from inside. Turn, we have our handle right here, pull it right toward us. These are two hands. All right, so I've got that pulled out. Now, on the ends here, we're going to put some safety bars so they're going to hold up underneath your bed. One slot's going to go in here up top, and the other's going to go down here. On your steps, these are adjustable by just moving these. Unlock these, bring them down. And see how it's short? Go ahead and release that. That's going to pull it right down to the ground for you. Show that for distance. Now, first two things we're putting in are our safety brackets. So, in each corner here, I need to move that because I'm working one handed. So your safety bracket has a point and a blunt end. Point's going up top. Shove that up in there. Lock that in. Now, whatever corner you put this in, put the other one in the kitty corner. So we're going the rear off camp side with this other one. Same thing the other way. If we had we started here, we go in the other front. So again, chiseled end up. fabric out of the way now then we're locked in now we can go ahead and do our beds on this one we have too long too short our long should be our front bunk because it's gonna have to go over top of all of this again Slide this in here. On the bottom. Like so. Same thing on the other side. While I'm in here real quick, your propane does come with a regulator. Lefty loosey to open. You saw that turn green, that means you've got gas. 
just point it toward the tank you wish to be using or put it in the middle with them both open. I prefer to do one at a time. I can tell when it's getting empty, you just loosen it here, shake it a little bit. You know when this runs out, you can switch over, put a full tank back over on this side. All right, we've got these two on us. Go ahead and pull this bed out. As you see, as that comes out, it gets right up underneath these pieces here. That's gonna keep pushing back in on you. We'll put out our bed on the other end. We've got both ends pulled out. Now on the corners here, you see we've got a snap. See that snap underneath there? We're gonna take, get that snap under there. Once that snapped, then we're gonna Velcro. All the way across, that's the plastic from your new mattress. We could like to leave that on there for you. So we're gonna Velcro that all the way. Pull this corner down over top. Repeat the same thing on this side. Snap that in. Pull this corner over. Then we're gonna take that string I'm gonna pull it all the way over here and just eye hook into that. That's gonna keep that snapped in there nice and tight and snug. The last step on our beds would be to put them up with their bars. Short bar here over your dining area. show you what we're looking for here we're trying to get the slot in there and the shepherd's hook up this is nice and tight so not that easy with one hand but let's see if i can get the snag there we go so, so that pushes out same way on both ends underneath the mattress here have a shepherd's hook curved in straight in up here it's a little different we're going to go up and over this netting but then we're going to catch the hook down there in the same exact way up here there we go takes a little elbow grease repeat the process on the other end and let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit all right now that we've got everything opened up let me walk you around the unit show you how to use a few things inside so you do got a GFCI protected outlet here. Your fire extinguisher, make sure that you and everyone's camping with you knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway in case of an emergency. Up here is our sound system, uh, Bluetooth, AM, FM. Turn that up. Try to get a station to come inside this building. It can be a little hard sometimes. Hey, there we go. So indoors, put that off. You just have outdoor speakers, so those are zoned. Again, AM, FM, Bluetooth compatible, touch that once for mute, hold it in to shut it off. This is a template where it's wired for solar, so keep that on there for future techs, in case you ever decide to wire this unit for solar. Over a couple of charging ports here, awning light, flood lights ceiling lights wi-fi ranger i will send you a thing from flagstaff on how to hook that wi-fi ranger up glass top here folds back give you a little panel light here turn that to high hit your spark over here and that's how all these light up same thing on your oven turn it to just light uh, spark it down there that'll light your pilot light no need to get in there to light it and then just turn it to the desired temperature Lock that panel light down it becomes an oven light so 
sink after putting that on. A couple cutting boards on top. Well, this is gonna be a furnace. Crank that up. You heard that turn on. Shut that off. Now you notice it will take that furnace a few minutes to uh, run through before it shuts off. To the right of that is gonna be your microwave. Pretty self-explanatory. Get that working. Start. Your fridge is domestic fridge. Open the top here. So over the left, you turn it on. Like it's horrible in here. Um, push that in for DC or AC. Switch it to whichever one you want. Auto. Auto means that when you're plugged in, you're running off electricity. As soon as you're unplugged, you're on gas. Down here. We change the temperatures one through five, five being the coldest. More plugs. Here's where you check your your battery level. Your fresh, gray, and black tanks. It's an access panel to your water lines. Open this up for a bathroom slash shower. Do have a shower curtain that will go around this rail. There's lighting for in here. I might be able to see that fridge a little better. Right now it's on auto. As soon as you unplug it, it'll switch to gas. Um, over here, you can remove this table. Just wiggle it loose from the legs. Put your metal legs down. The tabletop on these four stands here. Put your black cushions on top, that'll give you another sleeping quarters. Right above this is going to be our AC. High fan, low cool, high cool. Your vents to open on the ends. Good cable 110 there for hooking the TV up. The furnace is still running. Here's your GFCI with uh, 110 with GFCI reset. To the right of that, your 12 volt carbon monoxide propane detector. The reason I mentioned this 12 volt, always running off your battery. So if you are out dry camping somewhere, boondocking, nothing plugged in charging your battery, use uh, disconnect your battery if you're gonna be gone for the day so this don't run your battery down. Well that, your breaker box and fuses. We've got, uh, let's see, a 7.5, a few 10s, a 20, 30, and a 40. So quite a variety. Highly recommend having some of those with you when you go camping. Your sofa here will jackknife down. Simply lift up in the front. Excuse me. We roll the top forward. You have a bar here to push the button. Bring up and down to hold your seating here. That will give you another sleeping quarters. Hang your beds up here. Do have a couple of pantries. Um, one will hang here, and the other will hang over top of your kitchen here. You grab those real quick. Okay, so I've hooked up one of your pantries. You see, they just snap in here. You will have a uh, longer one. You better tell which one snaps where. You'll have a longer one over your kitchen area. I also want to mention that your mattresses are heated. Both mattresses do have a uh, uh, heat hookup to plug in there on the end. And then plug into your closest 110 down here. And you also on one end have a bunk light. Alright, I think that about covers everything in here. Let's act like we're leaving the uh, campsite and close this unit up. There is your table and griddle that attach outside it's telling you about. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is our door.
All right, so now I'm going to show you how to bring down your permanent camping door. Only this to be turned here. We're going to straighten that out. I'm going to leave that. We're going to come down to this end. And we're going to unsnap in a couple of spots here, there, and there. That's going to bring this door down to. I'm going to lift this up out of here, lower this whole front down, and as I do, I want to show you, as the front came down, this part all started coming this way. This is on cables. So now we're just going to slide these cables forward. get this set up in there. Yeah, well this will recoil from this angle here. For a moment. Lift this all curtain up and up around that. Now to set our door in here. I'm actually going to set it outside and into this rail here. And as you see down here, my objective here is to get this pulled back enough to turn these and lock this in here. I'm having a little trouble getting this one here, so what I'm trying to do is pull this forward. You see that'll snap right down in there. So I'm gonna unhook my little bungee here so I can get my hand, pull this whole thing forward, and hook that on there. Now that is all set up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go along the top here and attach this velcro. Oh actually first we're gonna come up top here. Excuse me. Get our hooks in there. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so our key here is we want to get that up underneath those. And then down here, you need these to be in there as well. Then you latch these in. All four of them. And then we start Velcroing. Front and back. Just start putting the Velcro on. All the way up to the top. Same thing on this side, you'll see that it's actually set up to go front and back. Just start down at the bottom, right? Well, I know what I'm working with when I get all the way up there. Open up our door. Repeating our process out here. And the door is all set up. We'll just take this door. right up off here we're gonna come to the rear of the unit right here we're gonna hook these in just gonna make sure I got this right here nope, you're gonna want your handle on the bottom side so that that bungee up there will hook on it so Slide those into our hinges. Get lined up right. Push this up here. Grab your bungee. And that's how you store that door. Alright, now let's reverse the process and close the unit up. Let's hook our Velcro.
Get up inside. We're gonna unhook these up top. If, if you can't see me, just touch it. Mm -hmm. Unhook all these. Go ahead and put our bungee back in this corner here. It'll hold our door closed because we lift this up out of here. The outside. Bring the bottom up. Latched in there. Come do our snaps. That's how we put our door back up. We'll grab our little door, snap that back on here, and then start bringing some things down. With this table, we're just going to do a lot of reversing the process of what we did to set it up. Setting our cushions down as if we were sleeping here. Slide up underneath there. That one's fine to stay. Go ahead and start taking things up. Reverse our uh, process up here. Push it on that, letting that fall down. Destroy these under your mattress. All right, so at this point, went through. We removed all the bars from our mattress mattress ends or slides unzipped all of our zippers now we're just gonna go outside we're gonna bring these slides in same on both ends of course we're gonna reverse process in all this uh, undoing our velcro undoing our string coming up all of our corners you can leave your bars until after we're slid in Alright, so we're gonna come around. I have to put this slide in first. And push it in, just make sure that you're not catching any fabric on your way in. Get in nice and tight. Turn and push down. Same thing here, make sure all of our fabric's clear, turn. Lock that in. Now we can push our ends in. I know we're gonna walk along, go around all four corners, remove our bars. We can store these up inside. Just remember again, the long ones will be for the back. And then lastly, before bringing anything down, we'll remove our safety brackets. One in each corner here. Walk around the unit and inspect things, make sure it looks like it's ready to come down. We'll open this door, bring our steps up. These steps are adjustable, so if we pull out on this, and that'll move your feet up and down. We're gonna, we're gonna move them down for travel. We'll get past our bed here, we'll lock that in. Head up front. So 
So I have to get about halfway and just start walking around the unit and tucking things in. enough room to get a hand up in here. And just continue to tuck everything away. Pull this all the way down, I'm gonna reach the side and set these lights off. The door is ready, like so. Because he's tucked in and put our locks on. So, four of them on. Um, for our dry camping, we get up underneath here, dump our freshwater drain, go to campsite, get up underneath here. Dump our low point drains, <coughs> unhook our water, our cable, our power, bring up our stabilizing jacks. Now if you are done camping, you don't want to leave stagnant water in here. Start out by pulling up on this first release valve. Be careful, that's going to dump some hot water out of there. When that's all done, you can go ahead and pull this drain plug for your residual hot water. Make sure to put your hand, handle back down, otherwise your door won't go back on there. Hook up your hitch and head on up to the dump station. That's the dump station, park accordingly. The dump's going to be all the way at the rear of the unit. You got a 10 foot hose coming to your convenience pack. Hook that up and pull that black handle on the right side. That's going to be a sewer. And so shows it's no longer draining. Go ahead and close that handle. Move your hose. Over here is going to be your galley tank. That's going to be your uh, cleaner wires, your sinks and your showers. You can store your sewage hose right in here when you're done. Your stinky, slinky support. And head on home. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Flagstaff for many years to come. Happy camping. <laughs>